you also onboarded Alia Bhatt as the executive producers. Uh, how did that go? How I mean, it, 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 I, it, we'll see how it goes. I'm so happy. <laughs> we are so happy about having. No, Alia I mean, how, how did you how did you manage to get her on? Yeah, no, I mean, look, she was one. Of, she was the first person to see the series, uh, you know, after it was completed. The mm -hmm. first person to see all eight episodes, and mm -hmm. her response was very much from the heart. This is what I feel, and I would love, love to be a part of this and help you get the word out. She like left me a very sweet note. What if, you, if uh, we can? What did she say to you? Uh, no, I mean she said she really liked the show and she really liked the work that all of us have done in it. Uh, it was uh, yeah, it was a very very nice compliment. I hold it very close to my heart, but. I mean, now it's for the audience to watch it and say, so I don't want to unnecessarily build Definitely. anything mm -hmm. up. Definitely. Alia loved it, uh, which is obviously why she's part of it. And I'm very glad to be associating with her in, you know, a different capacity. Hello and welcome to Shosha, News 18 Shosha. Today we have with us the team and the cast of Pocha. Thank you so much for being with us, Richie, Dibyendu, Nimisha and Roshan. Uh, Richie, we'll start with you. Richie, you took four years apparently to to write this, to direct this. What, I mean, what was the kind of process that went behind this? If you could just tell us. Uh, sure, probably five. I would say this took five years. It started, uh, yeah, it was five years ago. The process was quite uh, straightforward, in fact, um, just very laborious. Um, so I I was doing a documentary in 2015, mm -hmm. prior to Delhi crime, called India in a Day, where people all over the country shot footage of their lives, gave it to me via Google, and I made a documentary with, as a mosaic film. And one of the pieces of footage was an ivory raid in Delhi in, on the same day that was conducted. It was, a, it was a coincidence. So when I received that footage that was submitted by the Wildlife Trust of India, uh, I was shocked. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, that these cops and this forest mm -hmm. officials were busting down a door in a flat in East Delhi and finding ivory. I called them. I said, what is this? And they said, we've done the biggest bust in Indian history for ivory, end of a one-year investigation. We wanted you to see the footage. And I said, I cannot use this for the doc. Give me a few years. I need to do one more project. And then I will come back and do an entire project about this, because I'm mm. very intrigued. Mm. And then I got to know them, the, the Wildlife Trust of India folks. And um, they connected me. Eventually, when I was finishing Delhi Crime, they connected me with uh, their wildlife crime fighter, which I thought right. was the most interesting job title I've ever heard. And I was very intrigued. And I met this guy for 10 minutes in front of a metro station in Delhi at midnight. Okay. That was the only time he gave me before he went on an undercover operation. This is the character that Roshan ends up playing. Correct. And we hit it off in those 10 minutes and then we started this odyssey of getting to know each other and then he introduced me to the whole murky world of wildlife crime, contraband, mafia, um, and most importantly the wildlife crime fighters. Mm. The young people in India mentored by the, older, the elders who are basically giving their lives to save this ecosystem. True. And so I just started researching, meeting them, meeting them, meeting them. And then pandemic hit. I had all the research. I sat at home mm. and I spent a year and a half writing quietly. We're here now with this wonderful cast. Dibendu will come to you. Yeah. Uh, when, you when, he, when he first approached you for this character, what was your first thought? You know, what, what hit you to say that, yes, this is something that I, I want to do and I want to be a part of? Thank you. Chronologically, actually, I, uh, I was... Uh, uh, I, I got a call from the casting director, of course, uh, from Mukesh Chhabra's office, and uh, said that I didn't know. I was quite oblivious about the, what is the show and mm. what is everything at all about. So he says that there is a piece you have to do the audition. Then I went for the audition and I, I auditioned it, and then I came to know that it's a Richie Mehta's film mm. and uh, it's poacher. Then, of course. Uh, I tried to do a best audition, so and it never happens with me. I always fumble. I always because all the, the sense of examination is like somebody is going to judge me. My pro, then I'm 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 not there. I'm done. I'm, so I've given one audition. Then again, they've called me that he liked it, but <laughs> do, do it in a different way. <laughs> then I slowly slowly understand that yeah. So I'm started do. a process right now only. Of course, then I got the role, and when I read the script, and I, I, I we spoke on the phone, and because he was there in London, so that time, so then, of course, it there is something. Yeah. Of course, it's something. It's a different world, and I really wanted to no, no. do it, and uh, with Richie, and with uh, 
I, I didn't know about uh, Roshan and Nimisha, who, all the casting who are coming on board mm. because I didn't know. But I, I was quite sure that I am going to do this because you know, this is this is a kind of art actually. You know, True. because because everything is byproduct for when when you are an actor, when you are in the industry, that uh, your fame, money, mm. what whatever you do in life. But the thing is that. Substantial, what you want to True. do as an True. as an actor, because we are not activist, we are not activist, True. but but we are we are artist, we are with anything like no, because ad ad nahi kar rahe ab, ab, ab koi, uh, notice nahi laga rahe ke poaching is illegal, because yeah, there yeah. are laws, <laughs> everything is Why there. Laws? But but when you actually as an artist, you know, as a craftsman, as a team, as a creator, you hmm. are presenting. This thing, in terms of entertainment, also it's a, it's a crime thriller, and no, no, but no. but with a different awareness, it's a consciousness that no, consciously no. you have to follow that, and no, no. so you have to do it because बहुत कम चांस मिलता है ऐसे कैसे मेरी मेरी ऐसे फिर ऐसे सीरीज में काम करना निमिषा coming to you you know there is one scene uh, that I'm drawn to in from the series where you're just exhausted and you pass out yeah. you know uh was this experience also somewhere very relatable to you as as nimisha not as the character the shades of mala in me right the thing is gracian <laughs> i'm not expressive same like mala i'm very calm and composed <laughs> <laughs> I'm action oriented. Yeah. yeah. Right. Linger on a thought. Yes. You react to the intrusive whole. thoughts. Yes. Yeah. That like. So was it at any point a little exhausting? I mean, through the whole. It was not exhausting. It was fun. Let me tell you. You know, as an artist, I search for that creative satisfaction. True. And I think uh, poacher gave me that kick. You know, that creative kick. You know, uh, like Mala. She's such an intense character. Like, there's a lot of things that she's going through, and that. range of emotions mm. that she is going through mm. it's, it's like a roller coaster so it was like a fun you know it was a creative satisfaction that i got after doing pocha i think you don't get that kick that's true and there's a very famous quote that i live by which is from an old, old hollywood uh, choreographer uh, it's artistic value can only emerge as an accidental byproduct mm. from a tireless search for perfection wow wow and that's what we do That's what I, I know. I have no doubt on this project. We have tirelessly searched for that, yeah. and then we'll see what happens. That's amazing, Roshan. Coming to you, uh, you're you're back in uh, after Darlings and after a couple of projects uh, back to uh, the whole category of Hindi. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but you've been Malayalam, sure. yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> but we've seen you also speaking in Hindi. It's a bilingual, yeah. I would say. I would yeah. not just yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a multilingual, it's a multilingual, it's a multilingual, yeah, multilingual. Yeah. Multilingual. It's multilingual, yeah. Multilingual. Yeah. There's Bengali, yeah. there's yeah. Hindi, yeah. there's yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. but you know, being back, uh, I'm taking you back to your theatre days in right. back in the city. Uh, tell me how much what's the process of getting into this character that he described to you? You know, the one that he met. He met his friend. Mm. He's a friend right now. He yeah. met him on a daily metro station. Yeah. And uh, how did you adapt this character into yourself? Uh, this is the first time I was uh, working on like a real life character, mm. uh, a real life person. Rather, there have been characters which have been part. to say a work of fiction which we like you know worked on in a film uh, but with this one uh, firstly this person is very very interesting there's there's so much there that you mm. can you know pick you can decide to play on so i called richie up after my first conversation with him and i asked uh, richie if he wanted me to go after the exterior or the interior and richie mm. said definitely the interior mm. you know so it was just a search for uh, search to find the reason for why he does the things that he does and uh, what does he get out of it because like i said earlier like i mean like i've been sort of repeating this everywhere but he doesn't when you watch the show you know that he's not really legally part of the team mm. that's doing the investigation mm. uh he can't even possibly tell anyone that he was there, he was there yeah. uh he's sort of like quietly helping out from the shadows so what he gets out of it is all very personal so it was very interesting to find those two things his reason for doing it and where does the satisfaction come from what are you doing it for true yeah you know? true that's very true i mean i'm so sorry to interrupt no 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 so there was one scene where you take your wife at midnight right mm. yeah. so there's this beautiful yeah. scene where you where you go and say that you want to save the ecosystem yeah. that's what you're fighting for yeah. so uh, at any point did you guys like all of you came on board for this beautiful uh, i wouldn't say i mean beautiful in a way where we are saving yes. a lot, giving out a good information so uh, how personal was it as you, like you said you know you guys are not activists but you guys also 
need to understand that actors in India have a huge influence on the audience. Yeah. So was that like a huge responsibility on you guys? Yeah. True. True. No, the series definitely is a huge responsibility yeah. on all of us. Yeah. Because it's a, it's such a relevant topic. It's very important to talk about it, but there isn't enough conversation happening True. about it. And with anything that we do in this you know form of art we are chronicling history mm. so how accurately we do it also matters a lot and you know we have to like uh, divyendu said earlier we have to make it entertaining we have to make it a really fun to watch entertaining crime thriller otherwise it's lost you you can't no, you yeah. can't make it like a lecture yeah. true yeah. so all of these things were things to be gone it's not a notice through. board yeah no or yeah. it's like yeah. no no no, no. It's, yeah. and and honestly like for I, example uh, there is no propaganda also no no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's completely no, 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 no. It's a, yeah it's and it's yeah it's it's, it's, a, it's a completely uh, entertaining show it's like a crime show but it, it should, it should qu question some real issues actually the, because yeah. we overshadow all these things because we don't understand log ab shehar mein bolega ki jungle mein kisi ko maar de to tera kya jata hai correct hmm. it's so but kya jata hai so how you see kya jata hai yeah. what we are actually mean, losing that scene you talked about uh, where roshan was at the uh, waterfall that correct. was our last day of shoot in kerala wow yeah. and that is the most beautiful place on earth i've ever seen in my life and it was very difficult to get to Yeah. I mean oh. very 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 difficult to get to that place. We literally we had there, to sort of like make yeah, a pathway. Yeah, there was a little pathway we made so which was an okay, unobstructed an yeah. uh, un un unobtrusive path. Yeah. And then when we got there and we saw it and you know we had to light it and everything but I I I think all of us were kind of it, it was magic. And I I wish I wish wish you two could have seen it. But it was oh, this, they weren't there. The no, because they're not in the scene, oh, okay. right? Correct, they're not in the scene. And it's, and it's not easy like it's dangerous. In fact, cuz it's slippery rocks and very steep slope. But when we got there we're looking at this and it's like this is the the show is not just about what we're losing it's about True. what we're fighting for True. yeah it, True. that's it, and, and that that aspirational aspect is actually more important because yeah. yeah. what we're losing that that is a documentary <laughs> True. Yeah. that is a notice board yeah. we're losing this this and it's your fault mm -hmm. correct no this is what we have and i feel compelled to follow the people who yeah. are trailblazing yeah. to keep it no yeah. doubt no doubt in the show that one thing i have noticed is also about uh you know very very nicely you have also integrated a lot of uh, animals within the show when it's just the camera pan you know yeah. mm -hmm. if, yeah. if there's an owl or there's a kite or there's an a vulture there's usually a pan shot with an element with a element of the forest mm -hmm. was this like a uh, element that you added on purpose were you very conscious when you did this oh my god i mean you cannot just uh, think yeah. of it at the end <laughs> yeah. no 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 it's yeah. conceived of in the script day one every shot has to be meticulously planned uh, obviously we use no animals Okay. You know that's, um, and so it's uh, yeah. It was very, very, very planned out, and very much for me about the idea that yeah, it, the animals look at us with extreme fear mm. because every animal intrinsically knows we have the ability to kill them, and most of the time we do. Mm. So to show that, and when we are in their environment, they are avoiding us. The amount of times I show leopards and tigers mm. avoiding us, correct? Yeah. Really, these and it, one on one they would obliterate us. True, um, but. but uh, i think it for me it was very important to get that perspective and you haven't when you finish the last episode you'll see what this is all the end of episode 8 okay it is all leading to something okay. there is a point to all this it okay. all comes together in the last episode that's very nice uh divin to coming to you you yeah. spoke in malayalam in this uh, ah. series <laughs> so who trained you for this and how how easy or, or was it a little difficult for you because i draw a lot of comparisons between bengali and uh, malayalam in terms of culture and stuff and all but then how easy was it for you to deliver something in malayalam it was not easy at all but <laughs> i i was dying to do that because i i i love to speak a different language it's so it, i feel privileged could you because, do something for us um tonam Tudang, 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 tudang. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so, but, uh, but I actually, when the, uh, I don't remember those lines right now because I cannot uh, tell it. But I used to envy them, like when you, they they used to talk, like in between, like you no, know, in their language. I mean, what like, yeah, my cast their language, <laughs> bol pata, yeah. I, 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 I don't want to miss that fun that True. they're, what they're talking. So language is so beautiful. I, I, actually, that that was an, another catch that I wanted to. I, I, so I had Richie Kumar bola bhi tha. Kya aur bhi lines honne? Last week, I was sitting with the main character who Mala plays, uh, in an in Kerala Forest um, uh, Department office. 
And he got a call from the character you play. Oh. And it was a 15 minute conversation in Malayalam. Damn. Wow. And I could not believe it. I said, who are you speaking to? Is it, oh, it was, and he said the name. I'm like, I didn't know he was that fluent. <laughs> wow. As a North, in, like, as a Bengali, grew up in Delhi, right. and then was in the Kerala Force Department, uh, Carter. And I was shocked. I was shocked at how, yeah. it was like a full, fully, fully spoke. So, should have added more. Yeah. <laughs> I should have added more, actually, for him. It's lovely. Nimisha, Nimisha, tell me something. Which, which, what, according to you, has been the best uh, learning? Or if I would say some, a scene, probably, which is very close to you, and why? I kept saying, like the one in the bathroom, I would say it's very close, and the climax shot, it's, it's very close to, close to my heart. There's these two scenes, you know, there's this scene in the bathroom, like and the character she's calling her mother and she's crying, yeah. and after that shot, I just hugged Richie and Johanna, I started crying. <laughs> yeah. So that scene and one in the climax. Which we shot twice. Which we shot, yeah, <laughs> twice. So we shot once in the beginning. I have a new rule now in my shoots. I'm going to shoot the last scene <laughs> in the first week. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot it again in the last week. Yeah. Is that a reason for it? Yes. Because the emotions. You like, know. No, because you could experiment with it the yeah. first time yeah. and oh, get right. it wrong and then think about it. Yeah. Mm. You travel with the it. character True. and then, and then you realize do it this in is what we did wrong. It's, it's completely different. You know, the emotions true. are like different. It's, it's real. It's there. Yeah. That's true. That's yeah. true. Roshan, uh, talking of emotions, you know, your character also uh, is a father, is a husband. He's yeah. also doing something undercover. Yeah. Uh, whatever brief Richie has given you, uh, mm. was it at any point the emotional uh, roller coaster? Did it take a toll on you, or did it? No, I actually really enjoyed playing this character, and I am an actor. Some sometimes I like I tend to take the work back home with mm -hmm. me, even if I don't want to. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is uh, Alan's a character that I really had a lot of fun with. And I think that's because this actual person also just really has a lot of fun with his job. He's doing all of these dangerous, serious uh, things. He's, um, uh, you know, like doing undercover operations. True. He's doing raids. He's dealing with dangerous people. But he really gets a kick out of it. True. So I think some some element of that remained in like our portrayal of Alan mm -hmm. also. I, I like this wasn't at any point. Of course, it was. There are days when we're all exhausted. There are days when we really have to work hard to get what we intend to get that day. Um, so on that level, yes, but you're still enjoying True. all of that. Are you a little less scared of snakes now? Um, <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the other thing to consider, we've seen so many depictions of police officers True. in film and TV over the world. And there, it's very common that you have conflicted officers dealing with crime scenes because their whole life mm -hmm. is a dead human body, a dead human mm -hmm. body, dead human body, and in a, usually a terrible urban environment. These are people dealing with dead animal, mm -hmm. dead animals in the most beautiful place on earth. Yeah, right. Most of their time is spent in paradise, and they're trying to save it and preserve it, and they don't spend time lingering on their reasons, whereas yeah. cops do. Right, that's cops true. can question their reasons because yeah. they get to that point where, why am I doing this to myself? Yeah. There is no question about that here. Mm. Yeah. So there's no tortured reason. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's True. just do it. True. That they're on. True. Mm. Is there a reason, Richie? Uh, probably, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of blue tint when you're filming the whole whole series. Was that also a little bit of John's addition because he's a man of blue tint and monochrome, you know? So is that something that you have? Oh, also, sorry, a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, blue tint in, yeah, your, in your shoot. I got that. Yeah. Johan, 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 Johan. Sorry, Johan. Sorry, my bad. My sorry. bad. Sorry. Ah, yes, I see what you mean. No, I mean, look, Delhi crime is not blue. Right? No, it's not. It's, it's not. It's, it's not. No, no, but yeah, certainly, no, certainly, we, we, I mean, Johan and his colorist and I, we've designed this, the image, to um, have a kind of uninviting quality mm -hmm. to the jungle because mm -hmm. it is not a place for human beings to be. Mm. To be honest, unless you're you are born of that environment and born and raised there, but the fact is, we all know this. You go and stand in a jungle, and do nothing. Eventually, it'll consume you. True. If you do nothing in the jungle, it'll eat you up. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to make the jungle an inviting place, and still the beauty stands out. Correct. And that's part of the the color. That's the reason, right? Uh, you also onboarded Alia Bhatt as the executive producers. Uh, how did that go? How I mean it. It, it, uh, it, we'll see how it goes. I'm so happy. <laughs> we are so happy about having. No, I mean, how, how did you, how did you manage to get her on? Yeah, no, I mean, look, she was one. Of, she was the first person to see the series, uh, you know, after it was completed. The mm -hmm. first person to see all eight episodes, and mm -hmm. her response was very much from the heart. This is what I feel, and I would love, love to be a part of this and help you get the word out. And that's where this collaboration stems. So, you know, it's she's reacting to the series the same way. We reacted to the material the same way mm -hmm. I reacted to the real people. True. 
Roshan, you worked with her. Did you happen yeah. to speak with her after she saw this? Yeah, yeah. She like left me a very sweet note. What if you, if uh, we can? What did she say to you? Uh, no, I mean she said she really liked the show and she really liked the work that all of us have done in it. Uh, it was uh, yeah, it was a very very nice compliment. I hold it very close to my heart, but. I mean, now it's for the audience to watch it and say. So I don't want to unnecessarily build Definitely. anything up. Alia loved it, uh, which is obviously why she's part of it. And I'm very glad to be associating with her in you know a different capacity. I mean, last time also she was my producer, but she was also a co-actor. <laughs> Definitely, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, lastly, uh, I would love to hear from all of you guys what what are we expecting next in the coming few weeks or coming few months? Apart from weeks, Porter. what is the next mm-hmm. release? Oh no, it's just Pocher. Yeah. What are we expecting? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. through this year probably. Oh, okay, oh. okay, through the year. I have another series coming out in Hindi. Um, yeah. The I can't reveal the name now. Definitely. A couple of interesting, exciting Malayalam films which I'm waiting for, and another film in Hindi as well, which is called Olaj as of now. Right. Yeah. How about you, Nimesha? One Bengali film ka release and yeah, one Hindi series. That's wow, it. that's nice, sir. Yeah, I have also a few series and. Second part, third part, those things are there. But right now, it's butcher, butcher, butcher. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And I'm pretty sure it's going to stay for a very long time. Thank you so much for this interview, and it's a lovely series. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.